after dreams.
check, check, check. Hmm. I don't know, I guess. Yeah, what I, I installed the latest NVIDIA updates today, and when I did that, it went through and changed a bunch of my sound settings, and I guess it took my microphone off of the default device. Um, so what I've said so far basically was uh, I was running a few minutes late, and I forgot to get uh, stabilizers modded and everything pre-stream, so I'm just going to be modding the space bar with the holy mod. The rest of them I'll go with just lubing. Uh, the extra layer, is that, that that's included in here? Is that if you're wanting to go plateless? Is that the reason behind it? Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, I was like, uh, what, huh? And I was like, all right, maybe that's if people want to do a plateless build. So, was this a um, PCB that you've desoldered? Yeah, okay, thought so. Thought so. Also, the WoW sticks have arrived for the store. I just gotta go pick them up. They're sitting over there waiting for me. Unless they better still be sitting there waiting for me. You ran out? Uh, no worries, no worries. So I'm looking forward to trying out this dowel rod method that I was told about. Gotta get it started. Might have an official proto. Might be worth some money one day. All right, all right. So what is the uh, group buy stuff expecting to ship? Told you, just pull it up on the DAO. So I gotta say, that fucking works beautifully. That roughly three months. Okay, is the group bot still going? I thought it ended. Oh, you weren't looking? Uh, it's okay, we got plenty more to plenty more to do here. I imagine it works better on full pieces, but yeah. Oh, uh, good little tear there. Came right out. Maybe if I went at it this way. Oh, you're gonna run it until it sells out until you close. Okay, so it's not ended. Dude, this little trick right here, man. This this is the this is a, a nice little trick, man. I'm glad that uh someone told me about that during uh Alex Soto's stream. Imagine it would be even more effective on the pieces where it's one solid piece of paper that needs to come off. Still gotta deal with getting it started. Guess I should have done the stabilizers before I did this. But we'll get that in a sec. How many stabilizers do I need? I'm gonna need a space bar, an enter. I need two shifts.
Girlfriend taught you the trick for the tape on the palm plate? Okay. I gotta say though, that does, that's a lot easier than it, this with the dowel rod is a lot easier than it breaking, tearing a hundred times as you're trying to peel it off. Could have gone with a little bit skinnier dowel rod now than hindsight, but it gets the job done. Add masking tape for a bit of the burning while cutting. Yeah, yeah. I saw on the bottom it's got a little burn onto it. Yeah, the, the masking tape is probably, probably a good idea. Thinner one, I think, man. I think a thinner one's the way to go. I think that just starts ripping as soon as I try that last little bit by hand. I need a thinner one. I gotta say, man, that's a that's a that's a cool little uh, technique there. I'm glad I found out about it. That would still be on the first one, probably. One of the wow sticks going live. They're uh, available for pre-order right now, but I've just, uh, I've got to go pick them up. I've got to go pick them up. I don't remember what they cost me. I got to go look it up again. Wish it stuck to the bow rod a little better. Dude, this little trick is pretty freaking amazing, bro. Wish I'd have known about this shit ages ago. Of course, when you go to Lowe's to get a dowel rod, you got to get one that's like friggin' five feet long. So I got, <laughs> I got a whole big ass fucking piece of dowel rod just in there propped up by the front door. Whoa. Sorry, I thought that was on silent. Ah! <laughs> Slipped out of my hand. Bojangles in big red. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, this was uh, when I went there and got breakfast the other day. I like to get a little french fry seasoning to, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff on about that. Sorry. I like to go and get uh, french fry seasoning to put on my hash browns. And they just they put it in that container. Uh, I've just got some, I've got Bojangles French fry seasoning in there, so I don't want to just throw it away. It's still good seasoning. Yeah, I can get a smaller one. I, I wish I'd have gotten a thinner one there, and they'll cut it there at, at Lowe's. I, I had them cut it for me, so I didn't have to worry about cutting it because I don't have like a saw or anything here around the house. And I didn't feel like <clears throat> going to get a few and make, going to get a few and make foot pedal. There you go. I went to, uh, I just went to Lowe's because it's like literally one of the co closest places. They have me like a half a mile going to like uh, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, this is a big switch. It's what I use for my mute button. Which apparently is not working right now, but I don't think I have the, the mic mute thing running. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I changed the mic from the mic source there in the sound real quick to get the sound back up yeah that's what I used to mute my mic
I don't know, it seemed like a... I feel like, you know, it would work for a foot pedal, but I feel like there's more, more effective things you could use for a foot pedal. That's the case from uh, Strata KB, which I imagine you could make something since you've got all the, all the uh, stuff you need to make cases there. You could probably come up with something and that would work fine. I believe Novel Key's got them back in stock recently. If memory serves me correctly. Looking forward to seeing what the engraving looks like on it. Once it's all put together. actually works pretty well. I'm impressed. This is a good trick. And you also get these nice little rolls of paper. If I ever finished peeling everything off. Hey, this is still faster than trying to peel it without the dowel rod, I think, man. I think it's, I'm pretty sure this is still faster. You're editing photos right now? Photos of what? What are these secret photos? Tune us in, let us know. Like on 60 Protos? Gotcha. But I had a feeling they were. How's the uh, Murph pad case going? I'm assuming you're still using my Murph pad. i to catch up on other designs, so look out for that. Okay, all What are these, M5s, M4s? I figured there was more of a difference between M2s and M3s. It's like most everything I've used is M M2, 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 that's all I ever really have much experience with.
Well, surprisingly, almost all of the paper came off of there. Ah, oh, okay. I mean, can't you get M2s of any length? I don't like it. Oh, it's not, not a bad choice, a little wider. I'm just I'm just used to seeing them too, so I, I'm not. I was just wondering, curious, because I don't know the other sizes by you know just seeing them, because I have so little experience with the other sizes. Wow, Kerbal's keys. All right, let's see if I get this little bit of paper out of here. Oh, looks good. Try to get most of it, yeah. <laughs> looks good though, looks good. I like it. I like it. Alright, let's get the paper off of these. Then we can do some stabs. Hopefully quickly. Oh my gosh. I like they're glued together. So I decided I was going to go with the banana splits, but then I was like, oh, I've had these Duroc Palm Linears sitting here for a while that I bought a while back, and they're factory lube, so I'll go with factory lube on them, see how they perform. I've been interested in seeing how they are. Worst case scenario, if they're terrible, I can always take them out, right? I think these should peel off pretty much in one piece easily. Linear. <laughs> you already knew they were going to be linear. You already knew. You should have already known when it came to me they were going to be linear. The worst part about acrylic peeling off this paper back. I, I can't help but wonder, like, if people that bought an acrylic board had the option to, like, pay an extra 20 or 30 bucks or something for it to be peeled, would they do it? I, I would imagine a lot of people would. It's like, you would never offer that? because you'd have to be the one peeling it. But if it was an option, do you think people would buy it? I bet they would. I bet you'd be surprised. That's true, that's true, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's definitely, definitely a possibility as well. I didn't think about that. You could put on there not responsible for scratching.
thing I hadn't cut my fingernails in several days, otherwise I'd be struggling. This is true, this is true. But, you know, you gotta put that in there to cover yourself, otherwise you're gonna have a bunch of complaints when it shows up scuffed. It's better to be upfront about it, you know. Scratches of the new patina, yeah, right. Oh, come on. Earlier, I was like, I'm gonna clean my desk and everything before I start stream, and then I look over, it's like 10 minutes till I'm still trying to get stuff to go. I'm like, fuck, I'm not cleaning my desk. Stream Deck, yeah, I like it. I like it. I've only added like five new buttons to it so far. Got a Discord mute one now, a Discord deafen. Three buttons to run ads a 30 second, a 60 second, a minute eight, or 180 second. Got a button for taking a clip if I need to clip something in the stream. scratching acrylic and so we need what three to you and one six point two five Split backspace. Am I using full backspace? Yeah. Six point two five. That's what I got here. Shoot, I think I left the lube in the other room. Yeah, let me go grab my lube real quick. Be right back. Takes a seven U. He can take a seven U. Let's see if I have a seven U wire right here. 
Eh, I don't have a 7U wire right here easily accessible. We'll go 6.25. Need screws and stuff too. Haven't done a seven year yet. Ah. This one already wholly modded? I can't remember if that one had a problem or if that one worked. I think this one's fine. It might. It might save me a few minutes. And we'll switch over to Smokey. How's it going, my guy? There we go. Now I don't have to worry about holy mud since I've already got one that we can use for the space bar. Problem averted. Oh, what a problem. Oh, what's going on with that? The tape is coming out of there. Maybe the, tape, maybe the problem is not over. That tape is going to continue to stick since it's been. Removed. See what happens. Dust it here in a minute. Need some stir fry, watching some hockey, and some curveball. Life is good. Heard that, man. Heard that. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for dropping in. Gotta head out. Thanks again. Hey, thanks again for letting me build it, dude. Thanks for letting me build it. I guess you've got to get some sleep before work tomorrow. I'll send you some pictures as long as I don't forget when I get done here. Please do. Alright, if I forget, remind me tomorrow and I'll get you some pictures. I've got stuff I need to do tonight. Plus, New World is waiting for me. Well. Latest crack addiction, New World. Before, so I'm trying to just bust him out real quick. 
Yes, yeah, so this is the flag on 60. I believe it's still available for Mexico. Group by, I believe, is going until they run out. It's an acrylic case with a palm plate. 60% PCB. I found out about this board at Carolina Keyboards meetup back in June or July. And uh, it's where I met Shandon. Found friends. So now he let me get one of these a little early before the group buy is over. But we're gonna build it, knock it out, and see how we like it. That in backwards. Normally I holy mod all the stabs, but in an effort to save time, I'm just going to use the space bar holy modded. Luckily I had one that was already done, so I don't have to sit here and cut band-aids and mess with all my other strength. Just leave the insides of the housings and then dip it and knock off the excess. Hopefully these will be okay. I'm used to always using holy modded ones, so let's hope there's no rattle. Usually not too big of an issue on the two views. Like I watched this map before I started. It's already like these things just like everything freaking sticks to them. They're like static charged or something. Every bit of debris. That is uh, that's blend number seven. Yeah, that's blend number seven. It is indeed numero siete blend. Let's see. So he sent me a one of the burner type PCBs but it has already been built and desoldered so it's a desoldered PCB hopefully nothing is damaged on it and everything works fine I'm sure he tested it before he sent it but check out this custom engraving he put on the bottom of the case Pretty dope, right? It's gonna be on there that way, so when you look at it, boom. Gonna be hard to sell? Hey, hey, why would I sell it? Word from a homie, I can't that my friend built made? I can't I can't do that. I can't sell this thing. This is my board dog. Even though I don't really use 60%. Wait a second. It's one of the prototype PCBs with the mist drilled holes for the shift. No, okay. Look out the wrong hole. I was like, wait. No, I don't think it was a mist drilled hole in the prototype. I think it was. I can't remember what it was. One of the prototypes had an issue with one of the shifts. I think it's because he was still playing around with if he was going to do a split shift or not. Or 
Petra went up to Chef for Hunt. Not really today. Let's see here. Head right mount. Make it perfect. Screws we have one, two, four, six, eight, perfect. in the back of my throat so if I start coughing like crazy I apologize also the wild sticks that I'm gonna be selling in the store have arrived I've just got to go pick them up about 30 minutes away where I get my mail delivered. So, probably gonna get those late tonight or tomorrow. You need a wow stick? Yeah, so it's not this one, it's the one that's the, uh, it's marketed as 1F Plus or 1F Pro, depending on where you go, they're the same wow stick, but it's the one that's got a charger, it comes with like, 62 accessories or something it's got like a little magnetic mat and a little carrying case and i think it's 50 something bits can't remember exactly what the price is over there on the store but it is available in the store for pre-order now so if you pre-order one it would ship in the next couple of days If you need one, pick your one up over there at the store. Also, uh, got the new Duroc foams, uh, films that they make. Which I haven't had too many of those, so yeah, they're new. I'm trying to think, what else do I have new in the store? Uh, I got low profile sockets for uh, microcontrollers. So I got some of the lower profile ones. Which they cost significantly more than the regular profile ones, I guess probably because they came from a U.S. distributor as opposed to a Chinese distributor. And... Anything else new in the store? I think of anything else that's brand new in the store off the top of my head right now. Should be having a restock of all my boba switches here in the next week or two. So if you're looking for factory assembled ones, those are, sh are on their way to the U.S. Dow's got something going on, so I don't want to bug him. I need to talk to him and find out though if he's got an ETA on those. So I'm using the factory lube ones here just because I've had these sitting there forever. And it's time to finally see. How they perform as a switch. Oh, what keycaps do we want to go with on this thing? I was thinking one of the polycap sets that have been sitting there for so long. I've got whale, octopus, and corn. Any opinions on which one to use? Anybody, anybody? Right now, let's pull a keycap off of here to test. Where, where are you? Probably covered it when I moved everything earlier. Usually right here. Where the heck is my switchboard gone? Did I take it out of the room right now? There, this is underneath the keyboard.
Can you see the caps? Do I have them close by? They're on the other side of the green screen. I'd have to go up and go over there and fish them out. They're the three polycap sets that are out there. Uh, well, octopus, and corn. Uh, one of them's uh, blue, one of them's pink, and then corn is like a uh, pastel, like green and yellow, I believe, if I remember correctly. put the plate up there, huh? So let's hope this palm plate is not hard to get fed into. So now, sometimes with these plates you get them in and they all pop out as you go to put it back on. Oh wait, they're north facing for the two by the escape. Mexico's website. Oh, it's right at the top of the book. Picture of the layouts. There we go. This one's been soldered before. I can just go for the same holes that he did them in. <laughs> oh, that's my phone ringing. It'll save me the effort of having to figure out which one to solder them into.
looks off to me. Where's Hammer at tonight? I don't know. I don't know. Ping him over on Discord. Hit him up. Ask him where he's at. I don't know. Probably heard I wasn't cooking tonight, so. He said he's, he, might be playing, he might be playing New World. He's in the uh, company on New World. When are you going to join and play with us, man? t-shirt made that says I'd rather be playing New World. Eh, first person shooters are not my thing, man. I get motion sick too easy playing first person stuff. Unfortunately, it kind of sucks, but what can you do? It's like jumping all around, putting switches in randomly. No, I watched, uh, gosh, I really need to look at these pins before I start pushing them in here. I watched Alex Odo's build one of these, and he went and stuck all the switches into the plate, and then went and put the plate on, and they all popped right out, so I'm going to do it this way. So there's a palm plate on an acrylic case. Stacked acrylic case. That's why there was, oh no, that's not the dowel rod. I was, I found, have you seen the dowel rod trick for when you're pulling the paper off of acrylic? You take a dowel rod and put it up there and kind of get the paper going and then just roll it off. Oh my god, man, it's so much e easier than trying to peel it off and having freaking it split and tear and rip on you a hundred times. Wish I could remember who it was that I saw in a stream that was saying something that told me how to do that whenever I was complaining about peeling paper off. Yeah, I just went to uh, Lowe's, got him to cut me down a dowel rod. Just put it up there and you start it and you kind of peel it around and then you can just like roll it right off, dude. It comes off all in one solid piece and you get these, you get these nice little rolls of paper that you pull off. But yeah, fucking amazing. I highly recommend it. I think I could have gone with a little bit thinner piece of dowel, but as long as it's round, it'll work. Probably could use something like the wow stick, honestly, but the button would get pressed a lot. Thinking about getting a streaming PC, a separate PC, one that's uh, really I just want to find a relatively inexpensive build with an RTX 3080. I want to swap that RTX 3080 out 
put it in here and put this card in the other one and make the other one the dedicated stream PC. Inexpensive in RTX. I mean, if you want to get like a 2070, you can definitely get a build for under a grand or the 2070. <clears throat> Just like, I don't know. If, if Dell's, I want, a, I want a Ryzen 5 processor, which they say a Ryzen 5 doesn't work well with an RTX 3080, which is fine because the processors, the, the graphics card's going to come out of it anyways. It's just like, really, that's just the only way to really get an RTX card right now. Just to get a whole new, a whole PC. Because they're going to OEM manufacturers over just retail end customers. Yeah, I've got a, this PC is a Threadripper, Ryzen Threadripper, which I kind of want to get a bigger Threadripper. I got the cheapest one because when I was building the PC, I was just kind of, you know, and it's first generation Threadripper. It's not the latest generation just because the, the motherboard and everything was a good price on that one. So I went with the uh, older generation. OG Threadripper. This Threadripper is still better than most people's Ryzen processors. Wow. When came all bent up from the manufacturer. Weird, like bent down like they tried to stick it in something. Real weird. These switches smelled so weird when I opened the bag. I don't know if that's just palm or the factory lube that they use. I don't know. They had an option to order them lubed or unlubed. And I was like, hey, let's see how the factory lube ones perform. So I've been sitting over there for several months. I figured it's time to put them to use. Here we're going palm plate. Let's go palm switches, you know. Palm on palm. We got palm on palm on palm. You know, it's a nice platform though. You see some memory support. You can convert it into a server, crack it, build yourself a nice little heater for the cold. It doesn't get that cold where I'm at. Actually, I'm uh, I'm, I'm closer to the coast. I'm not in the mountains, so we're a lot more moderate here, closer to the beach. I might see snow once every year, once every couple years, but. Yeah, but Like all our pins are in there. A few of them need to be pushed out a little bit more. But let's see. <clears throat> if I'm going down, I'm 
that one's kind of the right. Always that one you miss until you start soldering, and you're like, hang on, where's the pin that's supposed to be soldering to? plates quite a bit so seeing how I like this all right I think we're golden I think we are good Sound might get a little weird because of the fan. Here we go. I'm just gonna leave the light off. It seems to have better, more fan power with the light off. so twisted so they're not being used.
I'm holding it back on the straight. Thanks for the close up. Is that battery? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. I don't know. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Now you're welcome, man. I can't decide if I'd I should get a better camera. I mean, quality's not that great, I feel like, on the top down camera. I bought a pretty budget DSLR. And it doesn't support a clean HDMI output. So, so I'm trying to think. I found a camera that Canon makes now that does have a clean HDMI output. So I'm thinking about buying a better camera for the top down and replacing the Logitech camera webcam there with the current top down camera. A lot of stuff I want to get and only so much I can afford so it's do I, do I focus on a new camera or a new card first, new graphics card. Graphics card is going to give me more enjoyment. And it will improve the stream, like the game, or camera, yeah, it's just going to help the viewers. Is the top cam a Sony A6000? No, this top-down camera is a Canon EOS Rebel T7. Just thinking about, there's a new, uh, relatively new, newer than this. It's the Canon SL3. It's only a couple hundred bucks more. It has a clean HDMI output and it's supposed to have a better image quality. But like, I'm not a camera guy. Like a lot of the other, like a lot of the more well-known uh, keyboard streamers and partnered keyboard streamers are also big into photography as a hobby, so they have a lot better time. They're a lot easier time, I imagine, picking out a camera because they know what all this shit means when they look at it. Which my stepdad's a photographer. Well, he was, you know, he went to school for photography for fun when they were retired, and he knows a lot about photography, but. He doesn't uh, think he knows much about what I would need for streaming. I saw an article that said the SL3 is a good camera for streaming. I don't know how much of an improvement it's going to be. Is it worth spending that daggone much money for something that's not fast improvement? Go with the RTX, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I need to look at. I need to look and see if I can find a pre built that's not too bad. I was looking at some site earlier. I can't remember what it was. If I can find a pre built, something like just a Dell in a plain case, the problem is when you start looking at those particular, you know, that card and that. That processor, all these fucking gaming computers, which I don't need like a bunch of LEDs and shit on my streaming PC. Just a regular ass plain box will work. Uh, look, I did a quick little look earlier. Yeah, probably not bad. Probably not bad idea. Need to find uh need to look into PCs. If I can find something that's got like a Ryzen 5 RTX 3080. That's what I want, so 3080, which I'll go for a 3070, because I mean it's quite a price difference for a 3080 and a 3070. It's also gonna be a few weeks after I get the next restock of Bobas and Get those started to move, and then I can sit and figure out how much extra I can afford to spend right this minute. Camera nerds. 
Like those keyboard nerds, always get a new keyboard. So next week, I'm going to be building a KBO 5000. I don't know if you saw the video on the unboxing of the KBO 5000, but I really like the artwork on the bottom plate. Need to go take some different photos for thumbnails for that and the unboxing of the Icky 68. What's up, Hamlin? What's going on, my guy? We're building a Flygon 60 today. This is one of the uh, prototype PCBs that we had on hand rather than waiting for the ones for the group bots, so it's been desoldered before. I didn't test it. I'm assuming he tested it and made sure everything's good. Doesn't look like any pads were lifted or anything, so we should be fine. You like what the folks do over at Kibio? Yeah, Danny's a good guy. Danny's a good guy. Sent me a KBO 5000 for free with a 3D printed case. I can't can't be upset. Check out. This is going to be the back of the case there, Hammer Brother. Yeah, he sent me... He sent it to me with one of his 3D cases. Like the 3D case that he sent me for, uh... The Q frenzy. Yeah, I need to find. He's got the files somewhere out there for the 3D print case. I need to find them to add to my video description of the, in the unboxing. I need to message Danny and get that for him. If he's got a link, I believe he's made it public. He told me a while back he was going to send me a KBO 5000, but he was having issues getting uh, everything figured out. I don't believe he sells the 3D printed case. I believe that it's uh, you can make it yourself. He may sell it. I'm not sure. I believe it's 3D printed case. I could be mistaken, but I thought he had told me it was 3D printed case. So. It's got this like. And then it's blue on the bottom. I'm 99% sure it's 3D printed. But the bottom of it, the plates, the artwork on the plate is freaking awesome. So yeah, so the 3D printed case is made to go with this plate files, the plates that he sells. Skip an entire row and just start doing the <laughs> row down there. Oh. Loving the layout of. If you need another board just to justify building, yeah. Yeah, the uh, KBO 5000 is pretty cool. And if you do cop one, you know, promo code Kerball. 
to knock you five percent off. I've got a. Uh, just so I recorded the uh, unboxing video of the, for that, and then right after I recorded the unboxing video for the Icky sixty eight, and I totally forgot to take the Kibio logo off of the Icky sixty eight. So. Yeah, I got the KBO logo in the bottom and the pro use promo code Kerball at KBO for 5% off. So, that's kind of there. You can order one for your friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you order something from KBO, definitely use Kerball. Anytime you order from KBO, you need to be using Kerball. Come on now. Kibio, Bespoke Keys, uh, Stupid Bullets Tech, it's not an affiliate, but he's giving me a promo code. He hasn't decided if he's going to do an affiliate. Uh, he wants to have promo codes with, I can't think of right off the top of my head. Keeps for All and Cannon Keys both removed me from their affiliate program because I'm a vendor and it's not in their best interest. I mean, whatever, dude, you guys suck. It's not gonna hurt anything. If anything, having another vendor sending people to you is a good thing. Sounds like Kibio isn't jerks about a man running his own shop. Well, I mean, Kibio is pretty much a small operation. It's just Danny for a long time and now he's got a kid working for him. Local, local kid there that's working for him but he's got a nice little like he hosted the meetup so he's got a nice uh like it's not really a retail storefront but if you do local pickup you can arrange a time to come and pick it up but he's got a nice like would would make a decent retail location i guess if you wanted to but yeah he does do the pcb designs uh he actually was the co-creator of the elite c He helped, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I know there was a team of three guys. It's him, the guy, that Canadian, I can't remember who the other one is. But he's more like, he doesn't have his name attached to it really, but he was behind helping to make it. It was a project with three different guys, if I remember correctly. And the guy's name, username is that Canadian, so don't. I'm not to say, you know, that Canadian. How you like a new world so far, Hammer Brother? And what happened to all those people in your stream that were like, oh, I'm gonna get it? Not a single one of them showing up to play with us. What's going on? Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, the same with the. Uh, Q for C, it's it's an it's a USB C to USB C instead of a TRRS cable, which is supposed to be less prone to failures and stuff. You are done. Done with what? Done with New World? It's not for you. Oh man, come on! You don't like it? What don't you like about it? Tell me what's what's holding you back. I guess it's not for everybody. Too much of a grind. I think you, you there's different ways to play it. You know, if you want to skip crafting. Yeah. Eh, if it ain't for you, it ain't for you, man. That sucks, dude. 
I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's not like retail WoW is nowadays where they spoon feed you everything and you can jump through everything. Get a solid 30 hours and you're good. Huh? Alright, man. All right. You know, it's each their own. It's not for everybody. Nothing off nothing nothing ever is, you know. If there was one thing that appealed to everyone, yeah, you'd have a billion dollar idea there, trillion dollar idea. Wish I could think of something that everybody needed. Pretty sure this should already have Vita flashed. I believe they come pre flashed. I know they have Vita support, if I'm not mistaken. What keycaps do you guys want to see on here? Corn, whale, or octopus? Well, you know, we need this hobby better keycap trays that don't cost a fortune to ship. Corn, we got one whale, one corn. Well, you guys, you have to fight amongst yourselves to decide. Unless we got a tiebreaker viewer there, somebody that's in the lurking in the shadows wants to come out. Whale, corn, or octopus. Well, somebody else gonna pop in and say octopus now. All here, he can break the tie. I'm not sure. I don't know if Dow's here or not. I know he's dealing with some stuff that's stressing him out, so... I'm not gonna bug him. He may show up. Who knows? How does Windows not keep everything in the same place? It's like every time I go to look at my desktop, all my freaking. I don't have a random fork on my desk. All right. Okay, maybe it's not flashed. Or is this not plugged in? There we go. Device is ready and set up. There we go. Not picking it up in here though, let's see. Is there via for it? Let's run the key tester and see. Don't feel like writing firmware. Okay, good, we're good. Might not have via um via firmware for it yet. Might not just might not be available for it yet. It might be just QMK right now. I mean the board's not you know still in group by. 
Hey, are you talking about the Icky 68? Yeah, did you not see my unboxing for the Icky? Hey, I did the badges, okay? I did the badges and I addended them all into the end, okay? This place doesn't, it absolutely does count. I make the rules around here, okay? And I say it counts. 100% absolutely counts. End of conversation. Gotta have those over there. These are the orders I gotta fill tonight. Right okay. I hate the way microfiber feels on my hands. You know when the icky needs a, needs a new home? Uh, I figure out what I paid for. I can work something out. I likely won't be putting much use to it. I don't know, did I already scratch the acrylic? Ow. Oh my goodness. Already scratched it. F M L. All right, I bought their stabilizers too and an extra something. I have another icky coming later. The uh Stargaze? Is that the one I bought? But the coin is mine. I'm keeping the collector's coin thing it came with. I don't know what the purpose of the coin is, but that's I'm keeping that for sure. So what have we decided? We're going, going whale, or we're going corn. We can go to an RNG of some sort and we can roll one of you can have even or odd or something. One, one out of a hundred or something like that. Yeah, I forgot I got the badges. I got a brass weight for it, but I'm not sure how the artwork on the brass weight is even visible. Like I got a nice like fancy brass weight. Um Hammer Brother, the brass weight, was that the one that your friend designed, the one that I got? I think I might have the one that your homie just designed, did he, did he do a brass weight? Still there, Hammer? Hammer? The brass weight. That was the one designed by your friend? The one that's like...
Oh, so there's only one? Yeah, okay, yeah. So then I got... Yeah, so then I got the one designed by your friend. Oh, so many boxes of stuff right here, it's ridiculous. But the weight, like, is there a way to put it in there so you can actually see it through the case? There's not, is there? I haven't, I haven't really messed with it much. I got, I got to figure it all out. You missed out on uh, Hammer Brother on my technique for getting the paper off of these things without it ripping a hundred times. Why does it already have smudges and debris inside of it where it just wiped it off? Prints on the outside, those are easy to wipe, but once you've got it put together, gosh, they're covered in debris too. They're like static charge too. It's like everything's just like dust just flocks to it. So it's got like hexagon cut hexag hexagonal cutouts, so you've got to kinda not tighten down the standoffs all the way so you can Get it all up there and then tighten it down. Don't you just match the bar with the direction on the PCB? What do you mean the bar? This can I pretend demo how to solder a diode. So small, no idea what to do. So I can explain that to you here. I can explain that to you right now. So what you're going to want to do, what I do is, What's on there? Okay. So, there's the one that's fucked up. This one here. So, I'll show you real quick how to do it. What you gonna do? Dig a diode out, but I'll, exp I'll exp uh, pull one off the other side. What you're gonna want to do? Is here where your diodes go. Go across the board. 
Teta pad on one side of it. Let's go and put we're gonna go and put a little bead of solder like that on every pad on here where one's gonna go, okay? Uh, no, I'd rather do them through hole diodes any day. So you got your little tin pad there. Then you take your tweezers and your diode. You hold the diode in the place, make sure it's the right direction. Heat that little bit of solder. Take it off, let it cool down, let go of it with the tweezers. Yeah, they will shoot off if you squeeze them too tight. So basically, go and tin all, your, all of the pads. Tin, not all the pads, just one side. Don't do both sides. But tin one of the pads on each of the diode places. Then take your tweezers, hold it in, melt it, grab your next one, melt it, grab your next one, melt it, grab your next one, melt it. And then once you get them all held on, then you just go and put solder on the other side. Basic uh, surface mount soldering. Anytime you surface mount solder something, you'll want to tin one of the pads. I even tin the pads on hot swap sockets just because that's yeah, just how I've always done surface mount soldering. A lot of people don't do it. It's really not necessary on, on uh, hot swap sockets, but I still do it just out of habit and just that's the way I've always done any kind of surface mount. Yeah, it's not too difficult man. Not too difficult. Just make sure you tin one of the pads and it's easy peasy from there. Okay. <coughs> I need to grab a drink. I like a freaking catch in the back of my throat. I've been coughing for the past couple few hours. So what have we decided on keycaps, guys? Have we reached any kind of agreement consensus yet? How do I like the bigger stream deck? I like it a lot. I like it, a, I like it a lot. Um, Still got the medium one I need to sell if you or anyone is interested in it. Or if you know anyone that might be interested in it. I'd like to get, you know, 80, 90 bucks for it, depending on, I'll use it for like four months before I got the bigger one. It's the uh, first generation medium steam deck, stream, stream deck, not steam deck. Hammer, rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> How much you had? Like 80, 90 bucks. I'd prefer to get 90. I paid like 150 for it. But I think that particular, the Mark 1 one, the original one, is now like 130 retail. So it's still 40 bucks off. And it's, like I said, it's like brand new. I'll have to double check and look at it again. I don't think there's any scratches or anything on it. Say, oh geez, we got a hair in here. Shit. How do I get a hair between the layers? Oh, come on, get me. Okay, all right. I'm like one of Morty's hairs. Pretty cool on there. 
I have to get a cool picture of it. That's going to be my new profile picture, I think, on Twitch and for the Discord. All right. Bubble wrap, okay. <laughs> So we said we're going whale, corn, uh, ow, step on. haven't gone and picked them up yet They're, they've been delivered i just gotta go pick them up so i'm not sure drinking vitamin water all right so got whale and corn we'll do three rolls two out of three wins it okay All right, we've got one for corn. I think it's gonna be one for whale. All right, it's one and one. So this one, this is the one that does it. Yeah, wheelofnames.com. I used it before for a giveaway. One where I did all the, uh, it was a giveaway for subscribers. It looks like Whale wins out. It looks like Whale wins out. All right. Finally, finally you win. And your prize is, Begin to choose what I use. So I'm thinking the KBO 5000 may give away. I don't know. Danny told me I could sell them if I wanted, but once they're done, I'll probably give away maybe the Q Frenzy? Probably, you know, without the keycaps, though, as, you know, unless they want the keycaps that are on there, we can work something out. But. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> uh, 
Come on. Okay, that's the off center one. All right. God. I was about to be fucking pissed. How do I store keycaps? I just put them back in the box and have them stacked up on a. I have a stack of them over there. Does this include a row three delete? Yeah, yeah, it's just, just me here, man. <laughs> Which, to be honest, this place is jammed full of stuff. Uh, I don't really part with shit often. I'm, I'm fucking like a pack rat, I guess you could say. Hello Zaid, welcome to the stream. Oh no, don't put the caps. We're going step caps. 
I just soldered in the same spots that he had stuff soldered before. I guess I should have paid more attention. He was thinking about getting them. How do I feel about the Duroc palms? I don't know. This is my first time using them. I guess I'll let you know in a minute when I when I finally give them a try. They had an option for either lubed or unlubed. These are the lubed ones, factory lubed ones. So, let's see how I feel about them. I'm just pressing on them now. How do they feel? I usually like a heavier spring, but they, they're they a little lighter spring than I normally like, <clears throat> personally, but they're smooth linear, no scratchiness or anything. No, no scratchiness. Yeah, smooth as butter. Real easy? What's real easy? Go easy with the craft cry talks if you're real. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I know on. Uh, what the hell was it that I got from Cannon Keys? The lavenders. With the lavenders, you want to go real easy on the 205 on them as well. Just, it, it can introduce extra drag. I've been getting away from Crytox, man. I, I like to go with Tribosis. It's a little thinner. Stock them. So, Ergo Silence are restocked, Boba Gums, these are all the hand lube option. U4 hand lube, Boba Gums, Ergo Silence, U4Ts, and LT Linear Docks. Alright, those are all restocked and good to go for anybody that's looking to purchase some this week. Stream back up, see what I've missed on chat. See that you won one of 65 cloud lines. I did not. When, do, when are you going to send it to me? 
Good luck. Another frog round coming up. The blue one is very nice. Viser HHKD, Rakadeko, Rod A, you can try to get the black one. Good luck. Yep. I hope I get one. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it for a group. Hmm. Uh, from what I heard, aren't they like doing away with silence topers? You might want to hold on to it. Or no, there's something toper that's going away, so. Uh. I have yet to have personally owned a toper. I used a type of one on a meetup. It was pretty nice, but. Uh, are you asking me or are you asking them? I have no idea what it would sell for. Yeah, I would just go search on Mac Market and see what's see what other ones are selling for. You could always ask just a little more than you anticipate settling on that way, you know. Because you're going to have the negotiations. Thoughts on Mac Market? My thoughts on Mac Market. My thoughts on Mac Market. Thoughts on Mac Market are fuck every single one of the mods because they're all dipshits. They won't let me fucking get vendor status because they're fucking douchebags. You hate this bottom row. What, this bottom row? Why? It supported a 7U, but I didn't feel like going and opening a new pack of stabilizers to get a 7U. Which uh, bottom row do you like better? But this is the options. But they actually got rid of the arrows, so this is a little wrong. So yeah, so you can go with a 7U. I just saying it only. The problem with that is I'd have had to go over there and open a pack of 7U stabilizers, and I don't purchase many 7U stabilizers because they don't really sell. I thought I had a 7U wire, but I didn't, so I just, I didn't want to go open a new one. Actually, does this support? You know what, I could have gone the shift over here and put the arrows in. Huh. Alright, let's see.
Actually, I, I think these switches sound pretty nice in here. What do you guys think? sound of the top row. It's a little higher than I'm used to it being. It's like, it's a little bit higher than I'm used to. I wonder if you could do, uh, let's see. Springs are too light for me. I need a heavier spring. What the hell is calling me right now? You don't hear that on stream? I, 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 the springs are too light for me, man. I can't. Why does my dad call me at midnight? Oh, yeah, he's in California, I believe. Springs are too light for me. Like, they're good. They're a great switch. I just. I, I just need a heavier spring. Well, these are just, these come with a factory 63 and a half. I, I just, I like a heavier spring. And the problem with this board, it's just a bad Franken switch recipe. The spring ain't going to make a difference. It's not going to help with, like, literally, you just barely touch the switch and it registers, like, Like the actuation is just the actuation point is too. Now the spring. It's not that the springs are too light. It's that this was a bad Franken switch recipe. The actuation point, like here. All right, look at this. Now, um, we'll tilt because that'll register. Oh shit! So like literally, you just. Barely touch it. Like, it's got like less than a millimeter. Does it actuate? No, like, this is significantly worse than a cream sickle. Like, I used cream sickles and, and they were fine. I've kind of gotten used to it. But the problem is, like, you know, your pinky kind of naturally curves under when you're typing. So I'm like forever putting semicolons and everything the worst thing about it is i've got 250 of these switches fucking lubed up made up because i'm a fucking idiot so i'm probably just gonna try and dump them on mech market i'm gonna you know i'm gonna tell them hey we got a bad actuation point but the fact that there wouldn't be able to handle what this board what are you talking about what wouldn't you be able to handle the 
I'm talking about on the the 75 percent it's the switches it's definitely the switches it's a franken switch that i made with the new boba lt stems and tangerine housings and the actuation point is too high on them like that it has nothing to do with the pcb it's it's the switch PCB makes no difference on the actuation point in the switch. I mean, the switch, I, I really like the switches. I like the way they sound and everything. It's just, like I said, it's just, the actuation point is really high. Isn't like, don't aren't the uh, speed switches that they have, those have really high actuation points. So, I mean... I'm guessing it's desired. You know, there's people out there that want that, but it's not what I want. It's just, it's just the actuation points too high for me on those, those Franken switches. If you're someone that is very light fingered and doesn't put much weight, much like pressure on on it, it probably work fine for you. A heavier switch is not going to change the actuation point though either, you know, because actually I have some of them, I had some of them made up with 72 gram springs and the rest of them was 65. They feel like crap to you. I haven't used them, so I don't, I don't know. But isn't that kind of like it? I might be wrong, but isn't that what makes a speed switch a speed switch is it has a higher actuation point. So it actuates faster. A keyboard for ants? These, these switches are too light for me. These springs are like, oh. I'm real heavy handed when I type. Rebuild. But let's let's talk about what really makes this board awesome. Come on now. Shannon put her boss keys on there for me? Come on now. That's pretty dope. It's got the Switch with the boba. Ah, come on. Focus, you son of a bitch. And ah, if I was rebuilding, I would be rebuilding with my desoldering gun. I'm not gonna sit there and use the solder sucker. But uh, for now, I'm gonna keep it like this. I don't really use 60%. This was kind of, you know, someone that I met and got to know, created it, sent me one, customized it with my website's name on there. I really need to get like a logo. And like, this, this is, you know, this is more something that I'm going to have just to, just to look at. Yeah, I mean, that's, Pretty cool. I really want to get a nice picture of it, of the engraving on there, and make that probably like my Twitch logo. Change it from the keyboard thing that it is now. What are your odds? Do you got a bot? If you got a bot, your odds are a lot better, I'm sure. I would like to get one, but. Right now, I've got other things I've got to invest in. What is, oh, that's my beard. I was like, what is this random weird glare there on the screen? Um, all in all, man, I gotta say, it's a good board. I wish I'd have used some switches with some heavier springs. How much is the frog? TKL. I 
candle in your local church. Oh my. I really like the sound of the top row. I'm going to end and restart the stream. Don't go anywhere.